Hey there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and this is a quick look at the good old solar gorilla um, solar panel here and as you can see I've got it set up on the roof here, lovely jubbly got a nice bit of clear sky and well you can see I've got two cables running out and down into the boat so if we hop in I'll tell you a few words about my experience with it so as you can see I've got a few different bits and pieces to demonstrate here to you um, first of all we'll go straight for the power gorilla this is the big battery pack which you can use to charge other things and also da -da, charge from the solar gorilla so as you can see instantly it's come on and started charging there on a good sunny day like this pretty much everything you plug in will instantly start taking power um, it's very difficult to say really this is how long this will take, this is how long this will take as it all depends on the conditions and the sun actually being out I mean sometimes you can charge things in a few hours, sometimes it might take days and like I say it's, you can't really review it based on how sunny it is um, so that's something to consider though so yes as you can see that's the power gorilla charging straight away there um, these cables are a mixture of the ones that come bundled with the Power Gorilla and the Solar Gorilla up on the roof. So if you want to see what comes with each one, I'll put the links to my unboxing videos on the screen now. Alright, next thing I suppose, uh, well, you have this little adapter which you can plug in here. So that's now basically like a car cigarette lighter port, which if we use the Apple Airline adapter, as you can see it plugs in very much how you would expect. Then if we come up here, you can see, sorry it's not very clear, but the power icon has changed and the light is green as if the battery's full. It's not actually charging the battery. What it does is basically allow the MacBook to save its battery and run directly off the solar power. So, well, as you can see there, so that's basically, the battery's not being used, and, well, it's basically giving you free power. So that's all lovely jubbly. Um, if we come down here, unplug that, and I'll plug in my little Griffin uh, cigarette lighter adapter. And once again, it's plugged in pretty much how you would expect. And I've got the standard iPhone charging cable there plugs in and once again straight away you've got that charging so as you can see on a sunny day we've got everything charging up or running off solar power in the case of the MacBook with absolutely no difficulties obviously if it goes overcast then we're going to start losing power which is all very unfortunate but well you can see the basic principle in action here so the bottom line is really that the Solar Gorilla is really good and I am very pleased with it. It's just a case of actually getting the weather to work with the technology. <laughs> anyway, uh, check out my other videos. Like I say, I've put the unboxing links on the screen and I'll do a review of the Power Gorilla soon. But that's just been a quick look and I hope that you found it enlightening, interesting or useful. Till the next time, farewell.